So many of you have commented that I look so different without my glasses. Well, today I'm wearing my reading glasses. Let me tell you a funny story. You've heard me say before that you can win the battle, but make sure you don't lose the war. This has happened many times when I was in a committee meeting or something, and I would sway everyone to my viewpoint, and then they would put me in charge of the committee, and, and I didn't want to be in charge of the committee, so I lost the war. Well, I'm at Costco the other day, and I had just had an eye exam, and I said, at the Costco glass counter, I said, what would glasses cost? I'm going to use my current glasses that I have, and how long would I be without my glasses? And she said, well, she said, she said, if we get this in in the next 10 minutes, we can put a rush on this, and, and you'll have glasses in no time at all. Point number one. Then we're going through the process and she says, well, you have a bonus check from Costco. Why, this won't cost you anything. Point number two. And <laughs> by the time she got to all the extras that I would have, I said, sold American. I handed her my glasses. Then I realized I'm in Costco, I have shopping to do, and I'm like Mr. Magoo. I can't really see anything. And so I'm wandering around Costco, and I wander back to the car and drive home and get my reading glasses. But it's, it's just a funny story about how it, those that know me know that there's nothing that I love more than a deal or a good sale. And I thought it was a true miracle. And uh, the glasses, they still haven't come in. <laughs> but they will soon, I'm sure. Today, I want to talk about miracles. Miracles are something that I believe in very strongly. And I pray that you do also. It says in Matthew 7, verse 7, Ask, and it will be given you. Seek and you will find. Knock, and it will be opened to you. Well, first of all, in your life, what is a miracle? It is some good that is so out of the ordinary, so unexplainable, that we feel that surely it is an act of God. Of course, miracles are from God but they're also a provision of divine law that is in effect at all times and for all people. Knowing that this is true, I ask you this weekend to be ready for a miracle. What does that mean, ready for a miracle? Well, let's talk about that. I pray that you don't put your miracles off to some distant day or conditions changing. Remember, God is the creator of all. You acknowledge that under divine law, miracles are happening right now for you and for your loved ones. You expect and accept that the healing, the prosperity, the understanding or the peace that you desire for yourself or for another is happening right now. You maintain a faith in God and in an expectation of good in your life right now. Ready for a miracle. You do not limit yourself or your good. No matter what your need may be, you expect a miracle, and listen to this, you accept a miracle. Those of you that watch this television broadcast, you know that I've said many times that when Jesus said, do you believe, that's a mistranslation. In 2020 language, it is much closer to 
can you accept? There's a huge difference between believing in some distant time and accepting right now, right where you are, through the miracle of God, your miracle today.